employees put together a very personalized plan. They've got a lab there. Everything gets done in the lab. And I've got the best smile I could ever ask for in one day. It is 100% transformation. I just could not be there to see this happening. A local nurse is resigning as fears about the coronavirus increase in her D.C. department. What she says isn't being done. Daddy! Yeah! <laughs> and a Virginia man's emotional homecoming after his life-threatening experience with COVID-19. I'm not doing it for recognition. I just hope I can help them. Help on Wheels, the group now sending RVs to healthcare workers to try to protect their own families. Right now at 11, more than 1 million people infected with the coronavirus worldwide. And of that 1 million, a quarter of them live right here in America. And just in our region, we're now closing in on 4,700 illnesses, hundreds in hospitals. But in just a minute, we're going to focus on two who are not now home. But first, we do want to address some of the big headlines of the day. President Trump was tested a second time, <laughs> and results came back negative. His doctor said that those results came back in 15 minutes. Record-setting unemployment again. Now nearly 10 million seeking aid in just two weeks. Tonight we're learning the $1,200 checks that could take weeks or months to arrive. The timeline on those ahead. And two cruise ships stricken by coronavirus docking in South Florida. Who's allowed off and who must stay? We'll break that down for you as well. Only on ABC7 tonight. <laughs> An amazing homecoming, a Manassas man is reunited with his wife after 23 days in the hospital with COVID-19. We've been telling you about Titu T Fomachan, and he is the hospital worker who at one time was in a medically induced coma. Well, now he's back home with his wife and three young girls. Hi, Daddy. When I woke up, the only thing I saw was bad news. Was 5,000 people got this and 5,000 people died. So I'm glad I'm going to give some hope to other people. Doctors say T2 will spend the next two months recovering from pneumonia at home. So nice to see him going home. More good news to share with you tonight from D.C.'s Gonzaga College High School. Uh, father planning's quarantine period, it's over. March 16th, the school sent a letter to families saying that the father had been plan father planning had been diagnosed with COVID-19. But now a new letter saying that recent tests came back showing no signs of the virus in his system. Very good news. Seven is on your side with a consumer alert. Stocks swinging back and forth today, finishing up several hundred points, largely due to optimism that Saudi Arabia and Russia will end their oil war. The Dow closed above 21,000. Now, that is despite historically bad unemployment numbers. We're talking 6.6 .6 million Americans seeking help for the first week first time this week. That includes 84,000 people in Maryland, 212,000 total in our area. Now consider this, in the month before orders to close businesses, the typical number of new unemployment filings was about 6,000 a week in DC, Maryland, and Virginia combined. Well, the president took to Twitter today to rail against states whose governors are requesting more medical equipment to treat patients and protect hospital staff. Tweeting, quote, some have insatiable appetites and are never satisfied. And then there's this one, quote, some complainers should have been stocked up and ready long before this crisis hit, end quote. Tonight, ABC7 chief political correspondent Scott Thuman reports the president is putting the Defense Production Act to use. The president Thursday using the Defense Production Act to up the number of ventilators said he's now forcing companies to get supplies and materials into the hands of those manufacturers who can build them, though he also claimed the shortfall isn't all the government's fault. The states should have been building their stockpile. We have almost 10,000 in our stockpile. We're a backup. We're not an ordering clerk. We're a backup. More proof of how scarce supplies are. The Department of Health invoked emergency rules Thursday to instill.